गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स थर्ड क्लास थर्ड लेसन नेम ऑफ द लेसन द कैप्टन एंड द सी नेम ऑफ द लेसन द कैप्टन एंड सी सो ऑलरेडी वी हैव डिस्कस लेसन सो रिमाइंड ड्यू टू लेसन दिस क्लास now i will please listen the sea god annoyed by his words but he did not want to trouble the captain and his crew the sea took the form of a beautiful maid and came before the captain wearing jewels who are you oh lovely maid Annoyed means sea is very angry. Annoyed means 
makes Eddie very angry that but did not want to trouble the captain. The sea took from a beautiful maiden company for the so it was process be continued. So finally the result will be what is that? He ship was broken. The wind was very high. The waves are high to like mountain. Then the ship took from off a beautiful man and a beautiful man. So he was asked to come before the captain. Come before the captain. The captain is surprising feeling expressing. What about that? Enter the maid. The maid is a very beautiful and wearing a jewel. Jewel means ladies are wearing like gold chains, necklace. It was called jewels. So maid also wearing a gold jewels. So he was replied expressing feeling suddenly surprising what is that how oh, it was expressing his feelings oh again he is asking the answer who are you oh who are you loving man he was appreciation to man what about man man look like a very beautiful so she was wearing a jewel that was he was therefore he is feeling expressing suddenly oh who are you and loving man, it was artful expressions. Ask the captain politely. He was asking to answer very politely, not harshly. So kindness. Then on seeing her, at the same on he was seeing her. He forgot his misfortune. So suddenly he was attracted to her. So he can't come to about his duty. Suddenly he was forget. What about forget? He was misfortune. What about misfortune? He was used to all the mis misused language by sea. He was by he is folded, he is folded on sea. Then replied, I am the sea. The maid is replied, I am the sea, and I am indeed as beautiful as you found. A before the shipwreck. So, indeed means it is true. Realize. So, really, I was broken. Really, I was broken your ship. So, I was destroyed your ship. That was annoyed. That was annoyed. So, therefore, if you have to use Miss Pity language, then, but it's not fair to cost me. So, don't fear about me. I'll be with you. It was curse, not fear. It was curse. Curse means it was to acceptable continuous process of nature. Then it was caused by the wind which grows too strong. It is caused by the very, very high storm and high waves. It was caused by this curse. Finally, they have violent force the wind. The wind has very really violent and to waves to rise high like mountains. So you were not expecting this destroyed unfortunately. So it was the very violent, violent winds, very brutal. So that was violent force. The wind has forced to very violently waves are for flow to very high like compared to mountain. So mountains are very highly at the same waves are flow to very high. So don't see how to calm and quiet. So asking, you don't see calm and quiet. Calm means peace. Calm means peace. And quiet I was. Then captain of the ship. The captain is finally realized and weeping. Realized and weeping. Finally, he was said, it is my mistake if I have if I have made any mistake, forgive me. So it was to reply, it was to weep and reply to his mistakes. So he was bended to accept. Say sorry. What about the say sorry? He, he, he said to see sorry. What about the sorry? Captain said to see sorry. If I have made any mistake, forgive me. Finally, see and captain. Both are the friends. C and Captain, both are the friends. Thank you, friends. Lesson is completed.